Hello everyone, my Serang here, and we're going to try out the Heartseeker at rank 31. It has 50% pierce by default, which is like, eh. But now it gets a it gets 125% pierce total at rank 31, and two barrels, which is pretty cool. Second barrel is a big deal. And... What was I saying? What else? Oh yeah, we only have six firepower, which isn't a lot, but as you see, we're doing a lot of damage with every shot. Just need to get rid of the rooks. The rooks do tend to be the biggest threat. Well, when it's not the pawns. It used to be the pawns, but then the pawns got minus one speed at whatever rank it, that was, and now they're not as much of a threat. Interesting. I could take the Healing Queens. Eh. I don't know. All these options seem okay. Like, gradual augmentation to make my accuracy better. Like, I don't know. I have enough pierce. So, I don't think. I think 125% pierce. I, I don't know exactly how it works, but it definitely is not unlimited pierce. Um. So, like, more pierce wouldn't be completely useless, but I don't need a million percent pierce after the first five-ish turns, five, ten turns. Could just take subtle poison. Yeah, let's just make queens less dangerous. Yeah, every nerfed piece is just a little bit more safety in my run. Oh, I have not killed any of those knights. Well, I can just kill this knight now. Since we do have enough damage to... Okay, we don't have enough damage to one-shot knights, but... It wasn't at full health, so it's all good. Um, okay. Can we just shoot this king to end the round? We sure can. Yeah, the 125% pierce does make it a lot easier to go after the king. Hmm. Take, it, it would take two shots to kill a pawn. Maybe that's actually fine, because... I want the pawns to be kind of sturdy so that I shoot through them and hit other pieces and don't kill the pawns super fast. Although this pick might be too spicy. Slay a thousand and twin rule are both spicy cards. Let's just take Lorraine the Clever. And this piece card that doesn't do a whole lot. Alright, we can shoot this knight. There we go. Uh, I do not have enough firepower to one-shot the rook behind the other rook. There we go. Um, I gotta move out of the way again. If I could get an extra point of firepower to make this even easier. Alright, let's just get to this level. Hmm. Well, I can make pieces one-shottable with Carry and Blessing, and I could also do that with Corner Despot. My range is very long, so maybe Corner Despot would be good. Yeah, and I think the, the rush down Homecoming is better than the speed home, homecoming, and I don't want my ammo to capacity to be kind of ruined. Especially since there are a lot of knights. Alright. Um... That rook is at full health. Okay, so it's gonna force me off the back row, and that's gonna be kind of. Annoying. Oh nope, it's not because it got blocked by the queen. I was like, oh, the king's gonna move out of the way, but then the queen moved back in the way. Good job, queen. Hmm. Plus four fire range on my first volley. Pretty, pretty good. Hmm. 
at a bunch of pawns. Pawns aren't really a threat. Bishops are kind of a threat, but pawns are not a threat. And I only need plus one fire range. I think I, I kind of like this option. Peculiar apple plus revolution. Still think gradual augmentation isn't great with this setup. And ascension can be kind of a pain to deal with. Okay, well, let's just start shooting this out, I guess. Okay. Yeah, now I gotta move out of the way, but that's alright. Uh, that rook is low enough health that I can shoot it. Or I can just shoot down the one health, okay. Okay, now what? So this is like unlimited ammo, pretty much. Pawn plus two speed? Nah, don't feel like it. Yeah, let's just take the let's just take the incredibly boring option of Im improved accuracy and more pawns. Let's just reload in place. The subtle poison does make this a lot easier. You just kind of do all this without thinking. I guess I have to think about the fact that there's a lot of poison. Uh, I don't want to make it so I can't kill the king easily. I don't want to make it so I can't kill the bishops. I don't want to make it... Well, okay, 35 degree fire arc is actually fine. Actually, it would be 40 degree fire arc. So the extra barrel. But, like, I can also, like if I really need that, I can just go to a dark square. Alright. This bishop is moving next turn, so I'd only get one shot before I have to dodge the rook. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we take a we take a 40 degree fire arc. That's that's not even not even a bad fire arc. Um Okay, let's move back here though. Bishop's moving or Queen's moving in two turns. Okay, well, that was easy. I kind of want to take the moat, even though Royal Loafers is, like, such a powerful card. I think in this case, the moat, like, either card will win, I think. I think the moat will just make it so much easier to, yeah, I just won't have to think about anything. Let's kill this knight. Yeah, because it's gonna, it's gonna, like, kind of inconvenience me and keep me off of the... Keep me off of the dark squares. Yeah, I don't need Royal Lover. I don't need to dodge enemy attacks. <laughs> he said right before having to dodge an enemy attack. Okay. Yep, yeah, let's, let's just get more firepower. Adding a king is gonna make it take longer to clear out the level. That's okay. Yeah, king's moving every turn could be pretty dangerous. Or it is very dangerous in this in this rank 31 challenge, but it's like in general, but as you can see, I really don't care because of how strong this loadout is. <laughs> but I want to be on the edge of the board. Okay. I don't want knights moving every turn, so let's take castle and plot the bosses. I want to be on light square, but yeah, there's so much... <laughs> there's so many uh, pieces just everywhere that... No matter how... Or even at the slightly worse accuracy, I'm still getting a lot of pieces with every pellet. Alright. Let's get this bishop out of here. And... Well, good thing I have this wand of uh, buying one more turn. Oh, buying two more turns. Okay. 
Yeah, because pieces will never, but yeah, pieces will stun after you. Well, you saw that. Pieces will be stunned after you wand them with the hypnosis. Hmm. Rooks are immune to fire and explosions. I don't think it really matters. I like the clean grape shot because the uh, evenly spread firearms look nice. It's just aesthetically pleasing. out of the way. Hang on. Yeah, I have enough accuracy that I can... Oh, never mind. I was like, oh, the queen will move out of the way and then the rook will move into the boat. Let's just shoot this rook so I don't have to hit. bunch of guns. I don't need to shoot the boss. Well, I should shoot the boss to, to like kill the rooks. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna shoot everything. I have so much damage. If I wanted to optimize my, like, ammo conservation, I could, while I still had three bullets in reserve, or before I fire any more bullets, I could have, uh, I could have regenerated three bullets into my reserve so that I could reload three shells at once rather than only two. But as yeah, you see, I have more than enough ammo to make this work. Wait, I forget. Can I... I can't hypnotize the boss. No, I can't. It would have been funny. I, I know for sure that I've tested it, but I felt like testing it again. Okay, well that was pretty short, so let's try another gun. It's another gun that looks like fun. All pieces losing a whole bunch of health with the Reaper seems fun. But I don't know how powerful it'll be. Well, it'll be fun, so who cares if it's powerful? Like, look at that. These pieces have, like, all these pieces have three health. The Queen is four. The Rook has six. Our accuracy is completely average, though. I guess the gun would be a little too good if it didn't have a downside. And I think that, I think we also get ammo we kill upon. Wow, this is uh... a <laughs> wow. This gun is actually kind of weak when uh... <laughs> when I turn out. Oh, I have five blade. Huh. Yeah, so I have a lot of blade, which means. I can actually just blade anything that's not a rook or king, apparently. Okay. I would like to get through this without killing any pawns. Just because of how dangerous the rooks can be. If they're given the space to get it. Okay, so that, that... That was a little less powerful than I was expecting. Or, I don't know. Anyway. Let's just make the king, like, slower so that... Okay, bishop can only be hit while moving. It's probably fine. Bishops have plus one health. We can still one-shot them. But yeah, we'll just make the king a little less dangerous than the envelope, I guess. Okay. Um... Yeah, yeah, go here. And now... Okay, is the king coming? Yes. Have at me, bro. I know that's not the saying, but whatever. Just get out of here. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, you know, king can't be killed if a knight is alive, but since I kill the knights very early in the round, it's like not even a problem. Complete a complete dud card. All it does is add a knight. Although this is a lot of knights. <laughs> complete dud card. It adds all it does is add knights, you said before getting destroyed by a bunch of knights. Okay, well, that could have been worse. That's all I gotta say about that. Alright, and the king isn't getting closer. The bishops move every three turns. So that's how I gotta... That's how I gotta plan out when I can kill them. If we can get the rook's low enough health... Well, that rook is low enough health now. Yeah, we can blade it. And Okay, I guess I guess we're gonna be in checkmate now. Oops. This game's too hard. Alright, well, um we'll try again. Oh yeah, I gotta keep the check button on at all times because I you know it's it's that feature that I never knew how much I needed it until it existed. If the king could just like get closer, that would be pretty cool. It would be, it'd be nice. I really don't want to kill these pawns. Let's see if I can like angle my shot. Oh, that's perfect. Um, okay, well this pawn's low enough down that I might as well kill it. I didn't remember this shotgun being so, being this focused around blade. But yeah, it's like actually, it's actually a powerful blade shotgun. That's, that's fun. Oh my goodness. I gotta, gotta keep running. Okay. We tried. Alright, third time to charm. First, my first run like actually went kind of smoothly for the first few floors. Oh, it's because it's because I got the, the, like the king approached yeah, the king approached me without like through the line of pawns without me having to deal with the rooks. Okay. Yeah, I think at this point, all right, we made it through the first floor. I think. Well, I don't, I don't know. I'm not so sure. Gotta, like, get the king to hide behind pawns. I don't know. Okay, I don't know how to do that, apparently. Alright, fourth time's a charm. Yeah, because we don't have a lot of firepower, so... Pieces with high base health still punish us pretty hard. So our gun has l extremely low firepower. Um, the pieces have less health. So the pieces with lower base health can get killed very easily, and the pieces with higher base health aren't affected as much. Anyway, uh, have we damaged this rook? Probably not. So that's alright. Rook at full health, it sure is. Hmm. Oh, and if these pawns weren't promoting to queens. Okay. We were so close, we were one turn away from winning. Yeah, the, pro uh, the other problem is I can't do damage to the king very effectively. I have to be two spaces away and my fire arc is so wide. So yeah, fifth time's a charm. Oh my goodness, a bishop. Didn't even notice that there are other pieces in this game. 
<laughs> oh, everything moving on the same turn. Okay, we're fine. Okay, I'm, I'm playing a little too quickly. Not 100% sure what I could have done there, but that's... You know what? I'm just going to give up because... Well, we'll, maybe we'll play this some more some other time. Play the shotgun. Or we'll play other guns. I don't know. But yeah, so the 100% pierce on the 125% uh, pierce on the Heartseeker ended up being pretty strong. And the the Reaper's wide, the incredibly wide fire arc ended up being a huge problem. Like the low fire power, power you can deal with because you get two extra firepower at, the, at this higher rank. And yeah, you get a lot of blade. So yeah, if, this, if the spread, so I guess the challenge, the main challenge of the gun is that the accuracy is kind of awful. Um, okay, but yeah, that was fun. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.